Hello everyone, it's Carrie, and in today's video I'm working on a commission for a Little Prince from the Little Prince Storybook, and I'm using a Deuce Gorgon Monster High doll. So in this video I'm just showing how I'll remove the scalp piece, and then I'll do the face up, and then some final photos at the end. To remove this face scalped piece, I'm just using an X-Acto knife and separating the scalp uh, glue. And I found it a lot easier when I took off the piece, that like mohawk piece. Once I pulled that out, it made it a lot easier to remove the rest. Now I'm just cutting out this little center piece and cutting down, like trimming it down so it's the exact shape of the hole that it made. And that way when I put it back in, it'll make it easier to reroute. And I'm just re-adhering it with some super glue or crazy glue and it did work well and didn't re didn't separate at all when I was rerouting it. I probably could have rooted right through the way it was, but I just wanted to make sure there weren't, weren't any odd dips in the hairstyle. Once that was done, I rooted the hair with some golden yellow alpaca yarn and removed the factory paint using some pure acetone. So to start off, I just want to do a little disclaimer. The photos at the, the end are going to look different than the face-up that I'm actually working on, which is why I kind of didn't post this video for some time. I made this doll probably sometime last year, maybe, and the client, after speaking to the client after I finished the first face up, uh, she was looking for something a little more cute and childlike. And um, to be honest, I wasn't familiar with the Little Prince. I know everybody's going to comment, like, who doesn't know <laughs> who the Little Prince is? But I wasn't familiar with that book when I was doing this. And, and so the reason that I'm posting this now is because I thought, you know, it might be interesting or some people may learn from this experience. But I found that if I'm doing a commission and I learn all I can about the characters or you know if it's a, a musician I'll watch the video that it's the costume comes from and just get all the information that I can uh, and this so this one was kind of a learning experience for me I really should have looked at all the f I did look at some photos but I should have really I sh probably should have just read the book so <laughs> that's just one of those things that uh, that artists should do extra research and that really helps me going forward. But I thought it might be helpful still to see the first version and interesting to see how it ended up in the end in the final photos. So here I'm just using some two different colors of pan pastel. One of them is the white where I'm giving highlights down the forehead, ridge of the nose and chin, and then in the cheekbones. And then for the inner eye areas, that's where I'm shading with some uh, just sort of terracotta and uh, peach colors mixed to create sort of a tan skin tone. I used a similar color on the lips and then outlined it uh, or blended it in rather I kind of kept away from an outline since this is a uh, a doll without lipstick so I just kind of blended that in with some peach or sort of a off-white watercolor pencil So 
So for this version, I was trying to make him a little more masculine than he needed to be and, and he turned out to be in the end. So I was going lighter on the eyeliner, like the lining of the eyes was a, a lighter look. And gave him a little bit of blushing. I'm using a very sharp watercolor pencil to do some creases in the lips, some darkening up those corners of the mouth. So I used some pan pastel and like a goldenrod yellow to add the base for the eyebrows and then I went back through with brown and uh, a darker gold watercolor pencil to do some shading and adding the individual hairs. Just adding some detail to the iris of the eye and the pupil using a very sharp watercolor pencil. And I'm being very delicate when adding the lines around the eyes. We don't want it to look like a dark, glamorous eyeshadow or eyeliner for this type of doll. It's looking more natural, so I'm being very delicate and making as fine lines as possible, keeping my pencil as sharp as possible. Once again, this look is much different than you'll see in the final photos. I did uh, completely redo the face up afterwards, which I'm happy that I did because I'm really thrilled with the results. Um, they they stay tr more true to the character, which I, I wasn't familiar with. <laughs> um, so uh, the eyes are much more round and it looks much more childlike, while this one looks a little bit more adult and masculine.
So I did finish this one as usual with uh, without. However, I did not add ball joint and doll eyelashes. I just drew them on very lightly and uh, glossed the eyes and lips. Or no, I just glossed the eyes after adding some highlights with acrylic paint. Just the dots were the acrylic. So anyway, I hope you guys are staying safe out there. I'm thinking of you all. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you all and my patrons especially. I hope that you guys are hanging in there through everything we're going through. Take care of yourselves and have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.